Okay, Shudharma Bhagwan. So that is just one segment. There are 12 such segments, you know. Queridos, almas puras, ese es uno de los 12 fragmentos que nos compartió la semana pasada. Uno de los 12. And, you know, it will be all, um, I'll be sharing with all of you pretty soon, you know. It's a, it's a long one, but, you know, it's like this. Uh, and it doesn't have to be with this kind of visual order, but the you know you already have had the um, <clears throat> you've had the audio now you mm -hmm. know they should just put these pictures in it but you know you are free to do whatever you want to do with it the important thing is is the dhyan the meditation that goes on behind it you see mm -hmm. lo más importante de todo es la meditación que va al ver y escuchar esto el ahora lo que hizo fue ponerle imágenes pero nosotros ya tenemos el audio completo cuando yeah, él termine lo va a compartir, pero nosotros somos libres de ponerle las imágenes que querramos y que correspondan yeah. a medida que lo escuchamos. And you, you know, the other she has said, and with reference to Nididhyasan, <coughs> Nididhyasan, the word is Nididhyasan, let me just put that in uh, the Nididhyasan, chat. Yes. Lo está escribiendo en el chat, Nididhyasan, yeah. y que yeah. Adashi habló de la importancia de yeah. esto. Uh, you know, Nididhyasan, you know, we have it in the, our real relative Charan Vidhi. Apno khande Nididhyasan ro. Nididhyasan means, uh, uh, you know, if there is this uh, Nididhyasan means uh, visual visualization uh, to to darshan or it's a whole spectrum in other words nididhyasan means uh, uh, the, to explain nididhyasan Nada says that if you if you do nididhyasan of a woman <clears throat> then you will become like a woman <clears throat> and if you do nididhyasan of the gnani then you become like the gnani you see entonces, en la explicación real de nuestro Dadashi, Nididhyasana es visualización para hacer el Darshan. En la medida en la que visualicemos lo que visualizamos, es en lo que nos convertimos. Y así lo tenemos en nuestro Charambidi. Es decir, en la medida en la que hacemos Nididhyasana de una mujer, nos vamos a convertir en una mujer. En la yeah. medida que hacemos Nididhyasana en un nani, nos vamos convirtiendo en un nani. You, you, you become like a woman means what? <coughs> a woman means... Woman represents somebody who is open to all kinds of. I have to be careful with what I say. This, but somebody yes. who is open to all kinds of involvement in the pleasures of the five senses. You see, you know, she doesn't have as much of a block. You see, you know. Ok, cuando dice convertirse en una mujer por hacer ni dirías en con una mujer, lo que está diciendo y está queriendo ser muy cuidadoso con sus palabras, 
es aquello que está totalmente abierto a disfrutar de los placeres de los cinco sentidos, que no tiene freno, pared, filtro. Uh, so, you know, if, for instance, if she is, you know, she is, she is involved in making a meal, making some interesting food, she, her involvement will be total in that. You see, she will, you know, plan, go to the shops, get the right foods, get all of these things, the whole thing until it, the party is all over and everybody is gone. You see. Por ejemplo, uh, si está enfocada en hacer una rica comida, todo su ser va a estar enfocado en eso. Se va a involucrar en la planificación, en ir a comprar los elementos adecuados y todo el tiempo va a estar envuelta, involucrada en llevar a cabo esa comida deliciosa hasta que la fiesta termine. If she is involved in keeping her home just right, she will take off everything, just rearrange everything, you know, and spend the whole day rearranging everything in the home, you see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y si está know. muy involucrada con su casa, va a estar todo el tiempo cuidando que todo esté perfecto, reordenando, relimpiando, reemprolijando, para que todo esté perfecto según su nivel de involucramiento con el hogar. So if you do Nididhyasana of a woman, you will become like a woman. Means, you know, you, you are... Uh... You, you know, your attention will be fragmented in so many directions, you see, mm, chit. Entonces, mm. lo que esa frase quiere decir, hacer nididías en, de mujer y te convertirás en una mujer, es que tu, tu chit, tu atención va a poder estar repartida en tantos aspectos, But tantos it's... fragmentos. Eh, you see, she has... She has everything in her home, you know. But she sees one item that may be very far away, but she wants it for her home. She <laughs> she will end up going there, you know. Uh, you see what I'm saying? She will yes. not be happy. Puede until... tener todo, yes. Puede tener todo lo necesario en su casa, pero hay una cosita que no tiene, que está muy lejana, y ella va a terminar yendo a comprarla para tenerla en su casa. Esa cosita que le falta. Where is, so where is if you do Nididhyasana of the Gnani, then you become like the Gnani. Nididhyasana of, the other says, not Nididhyasana of the Gnani, Nididhyasana of the, of Dada. There is a difference between Nididhyasana of Gnani and Nididhyasana of Dada. Nididhyasana of Dada means, ultimately, Eo so, I, I. I'm the one with all, everything I am, you see. Uh, and that. So. And, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, si hacemos ni de día siendo una mujer, nos convertiremos en, en una mujer. Si hacemos ni de día siendo un nani, iremos hacia ese lugar. Pero lo que Dada dice es aún más allá. Hacer ni de día de Dada. Ir convirtiéndonos en ese ser que todo lo tiene, todo lo puede, el omnipresente, alma pura que tenemos adentro. Yes, eh? Yeah, Nidhityasan of Dada means how does this relate to my vision? What? This is Vyavasthit. This is relative. Yo so alma pura. You see, that is Nidhityasan of Dada. This is Nidhityasan of Dada, you see. Ni de días en de dada es estar todo el tiempo con la conciencia de que lo que sucede es ya bastit, que la visión real y la relativa, tener todo eso presente todo el tiempo. Perdón, a mí se me entrecortó un poco, ¿es solo a mí o a todos? Ok, entonces, mm -hmm. estate atento, Dami, por si se me cae a mi internet. So this, um... Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um... So Nididhyasana, the process of Nididhyasana is very subtly connected to Dhyan. <clears throat> D-H-Y-A-N. Dhyan is meditation, natural meditation, na natural meditation of this. Om Namah Shivai. You know, this 
this dhyan that happens naturally or you know uh, of of my state you know this this is who this is this is who you don't have to say this is who i am but it 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 takes you there it takes okay. you there you see mm -hmm. este nidhya sen tiene una sutil conexión con dhyan que es esta meditación natural es este om namah shivaya Amapurasarvangashuddhachuam the pure one, you see? I am the absolute pure one, you see? Sarvagna shuda chu, sampuna shuda chu. Sarvagna. Yo soy alma pura, yo soy el absoluto alma pura. And I am pure everywhere. Sarvanga shuda chu means everywhere, everywhere, you know. Eso significa en todo lugar, en todo espacio. Yeah. This, this, uh, this uh, 48 minute uh, video that i will share is is designed is is coming to us for such nididhyasan you see it begins you know with the three mantra and then it begin then it leads naturally to om rim dada bhagavan sarvagna sharanam Good charming. You see, in other words, now we are moving towards Radha Bhagavan. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Entonces, este video que él nos va a compartir, absolutamente diseñado para llevarnos a ese lugar, comenzando por el Trimantra, Jai Sachitana, Long Green, y terminando con Dada Bhagavan. Yeah. Se nos lleva perfectamente a ese estado. Yeah, the, the, absoluto alma pura en todo espacio. And if it is playing in your home, in your room, around you then you just kind of just just this words you know begin the nididhyasana you see and mm -hmm. and then it ends with dada bhagwan na simje jekar ho you see so it, 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 it that's a connection so this has been designed for not you and I. Yes, it really helps all of us, but it is for the entire world. You see, the entire world, mm -hmm. even if they don't understand these words, they will. It esto will ha work sido diseñado. Mm -hmm. Sorry, mm -hmm. esto ha sido diseñado para todo el mundo, no solo para nosotros. Es decir, a nosotros nos super ayuda, pero ha sido diseñado para que esto llegue a todo el mundo. Y el solo hecho de ponerlo en un ambiente y que suene alrededor nuestro, alrededor de las personas, eso ya va ayudando a que yeah, and as todo I mean, se vaya moviendo hacia ese lugar. Yeah. And as I mentioned to you last time, mm -hmm. you know, uh, that this... This harmonizes with different times of the day, you see, you know, and the night, you know. In other words, the way she has offered it, you know, this lady, the way she has sung it, uh, you know, in conjunction with uh, discussion, discussing with me, you know, we, you know, we said, this is how I told her, this is how I want it. Uh, so she has spent a long time. She took three months to really make the product, you know, with her musicians, you know, uh, uh, all of them. So, so this, you know this this product is now with with the grace of dada it is coming to all of us you see mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. entonces como nos comentó la vez pasada esta mujer eh, le llevó a ella y a sus músicos a armar todo este producto tres meses no fue de un día para el otro entonces todo está diseñado para que le llegue a todo el mundo en mm -hmm. discusión y en conversaciones de diseño con nuestro querido Yuda, pero eso fueron tres meses para lograr 
las armonías, las melodías de mañana, mediodía, tarde y noche, esos 48 minutos para que le llegue a todo el mundo esto. Uh -huh. Con la gracia de Dada. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, um, especially this middle mantra, it, 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 uh, mantra is not, a, mantra means that which That which holds the mind. In other words, a, a mantra has the effect of containing the mind. The mind that is like a monkey going all over the world. You see, it mantra means it kind of uh, holds the mind. It is this kind of now just is a, you know it stops in a way the mind you know from bothering you you see uh -huh. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. mantra pues está eh, por empezar a decir algo del mantra central que nos compartió la mañana pero se fue a querer explicarnos que mantra en sí mismo es aquello que contiene nuestra mente la la mantiene contenida en vez que es como un monito que se va para todos lados la la apacigua y la mantiene contenida Uh -huh. Eso es un mantra. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So there is this arpan. Arpan means to surrender, right? To give up, you know, arpan, you know, to offer. Offering, uh, uh, offering, offer. What do you offer? You yes, eh? offer, but you know, so you offer. And when you say samarpan, samarpan, you see. Sarvasvamaru Sarpanche. He says, Samarpan means total, absolute surrender. Absolute surrender, you know. Absolute surrender. Entonces, mm -hmm. este, este del medio contiene arpan. ¿Qué es arpan? Es, es entregar, es ofrecer, es entregar por completo. Samarpan, total y absoluta entrega. Eso yeah. es lo que tenemos. For example, if you if you really love somebody or you know you really you know like that person you like you know you just so when you meet him or her you know you give something very what you hold precious you know yeah you say okay I would like for you to have it now you're giving the giving a gift is like you're giving you know that means you're giving something that you hold very special to that other person you see uh, Entonces, that's por quite, ejemplo, yeah. cuando querés mucho a alguien o estás enamorado de alguien, lo que haces es darle algo, ese algo especial que estuviste guardando para ese alguien especial. Le das un regalo que es especial y lo estuviste guardando para eso. ¿Qué puedes dar a Dios dentro de ti que tiene razón? <laughs> There's nothing you and I have to give to our Lord, you know. So we say, okay, I give everything. This is yeah. all. Yeah. Hmm? Pero ¿qué le podríamos dar a ese Lord maravilloso que se ha despertado dentro nuestro? No hay nada para darle. O todo, le damos todo, nos entregamos completamente a él. Yeah. And, and that's, and that's, uh, that's when the Lord, era, you know, Uh, is totally there, you see, for you. Sarvasva uh, amaru arpanche. I surrender my all to you. And that is, you know, when we sing Sarvasva amaru arpanche, <laughs> like, you know, yeah, you know, like, you know, <laughs> Nignanvidi, in the same thing here, Om Rim Dada Bhagavan Sarvadna Sure, um, now you know this lady the way she sings it's affecting my <laughs> because I mean, but, but anyway anyway so this you know okay lo que I está say, diciendo uh, es que a este lord maravilloso que nos está que se está despertando y se está desarrollando nuestro no, no es que le podemos hacer un regalo sino lo que hacemos es entregarnos completamente a él y lo que estaba trayendo cantando es lo que cantamos en el en la ceremonia del Nambidi, que en nuestro librito está en la página 33, Sarvas Namaru Arpanche, na, na, na. y el otro está, es el final de la página 35, Om Rim Dada Bhagwan Sarvagna Sharanam Gacham. 
सर्वज्ञ ओम ओम रीम दादा भगवान सर्वज्ञ शरणम शरणम आई सरेंडर बट सर्वज्ञ इज अ वेरी मे ब्यूटिफुल वर्ड सर्वज्ञ सर व मीन्स एवरीथिंग सर्व मीन्स एवरीथिंग एंड देन ज्ञ ज्ञ इज लाइक यू नो ज्ञ ज्ञ मीन्स नोज knows so this is the one who knows everything the one who knows everything that's called sarvagnya and that is the dada bhagwan within us uh, the absolute knower knows every little desire of damyan shudha anila everything everything inside everything inside if that light goes out you it begins to let you see and know what is outside so it lets you know both it lets you know both you see entonces yendo más profundo sarvagnya significa aquel con mayúsculas en total y absoluto conocimiento sarva todo gnya conocer entonces es aquel que todo, todo, todo lo conoce. Y conoce lo de adentro y conoce lo de afuera, y conoce lo que va a pasar, y conoce cada pequeño detalle de pensamiento de Anila, de Damián, de Yuda. Mm -hmm. Todo lo conoce. So, for us all, we, and that one is Dada Bhagwan, Dada Shri, Nani Purush Dada Shri, you see? Uh, and Dada says, however, I'm not total Sarvagnya, I'm not the complete Sarvagnya. I have four degrees that are lacking, that Lord Simander, he is total, absolute, you see? So he gives us and this, nice. he gives his, he gives himself, and he gives the lord so he's he gives us both and so the, he says if you want to do nididhyasan if you want to do nididhyasan then either do nididhyasan of this one or this one both you see hmm? but we can't do nididhyasan of this one from exactly you see because we haven't met him yet you know <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Entonces nosotros, eh, cuando decimos esto, estamos viendo a Dada. Pero Dada, Dadashi, nuestro Nani Purush nos dice, ok, pero yo no estoy completo, a mí me faltan cuatro grados. Entonces él, él nos entrega a él mismo, pero también nos da a nuestro querido Simandar. Entonces cuando uno hace Nididiasen, lo puede hacer con Dada o con Simandar. Pero nosotros todavía él no lo encontramos. Yes. Nosotros lo hacemos a través de Dada. Ah, uh, you know this. Uh, along these lines, I came across something very beautiful and just remembered it. So let me see if I can find it. And this is a uh, this is a very beautiful story. <clears throat> It's Se actually... acaba de acordar algo que ahora está buscando a ver si lo encuentra. Toda esta conversación le hizo recordar unas líneas muy hermosas que está viendo si las puede encontrar para compartir y que es uh -huh. una hermosa historia. Uh -huh. well, so, the Dada, Dada Shri was in Vadodara, you know, in, in Vadodara, and this was in 1968. <clears throat> Dada estaba en Vadodara y era 1968. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, So it, Dada was this Natukaka, you know, he actually, he's the first one who started writing all the satsangs down, you know, in 1967, 68, you see. Mm -hmm. Himself? He started writing, he was with Dada, okay. he was amongst Dada's age, you know, or a little bit, yeah, Dada's age, you know. And from the ah, same... which name? Sorry. Natukaka. Uh -huh. Natukaka, uh -huh. sorry, mm -hmm. I miss it. Natukaka. Natukaka era un, una persona que estaba siempre con Dada, era más o menos de la misma edad de él, y a partir de 1967 aproximadamente empezó a escribir 
todos los satsang, a transcribir todo lo que Dada decía. Niruma had the Gnanvidi at Natukaka's home, you see. Hmm? Ah, Niruma tomó el Nanvidi en la casa de Natukaka. Mm -hmm. uh, Niruma and Natukaka were this cousin and related in some respect, you know, like in other words, they were a okay. little, you know, there is some relation, you see. Mm -hmm. Había alguna relación familiar medio lejana entre Natukaka y, y Niruma, como si fuesen primos segundos o terceros, algo así. Uh, Natukaka used to have a little farm, uh, uh, little farm in, around Badran. You can't call it like the farms that you have in the U.S. or in, in, in Argentina. It's just a tiny little piece of land, you know, like, uh, <laughs> like you have in India, you know. Uh, okay, Natukaka uh, solía tener una... Una pequeña granja o huerto, dice, no del tamaño de las que hay en Estados Unidos o acá, pero una pequeña porción de tierra como las que se tienen en India. Where you can grow something, you know, uh, maybe an acre or two, you know, anyway, so. And Por ahí un acre o dos, donde se puede plantar algo. And there was a person who would take care of the farm, maintain the farm, you know get the vegetables, fruits, whatever, uh, from there. And, you know, they're what we call is a knocker or a servant, you know, like he, he takes care of the farm, does everything, you know. Hmm? Tenía so, como un empleado o un sirviente que era el que se ocupaba de cuidar la granja, de hacer que las cosas crezcan, cuidar los vegetales, limpiarlo. So this person... Uh, I don't have the exact details here, but I, I remember the story again because I just saw it the other day. Um, he came, you know, he, he came from the farm. Usually when you know, they come from the farm, they bring something from the farm, you know, uh, okay. to, the, to the city. The city is uh, Vadodara, you see. So, okay. Mm -hmm, mm, Entonces, yeah. un día, no se acuerda los detalles exactos, pero sí la historia porque la leyó recientemente, y un día este hombre viene de la granja hacia la ciudad, y habitualmente cuando volvían de la granja a la ciudad, traían algo de la granja. You know, and so you can visualize the scene where, you know, he, he has come from the village, he has brought something, but he doesn't sit in company of all the Mahatmas uh, with whom Dada is having satsang, you know, he sits at a lower level outside, you know, and just kind of ready to do anything else, you know. And once he comes to Dada's home, he does some other stuff like polishes Dada's shoes, you know. And, you know, all of these are little other little things for Dada, you know. So, ok, when, yeah. entonces podemos imaginar o, o visualizar la situación. Él llega a la villa con esto y no se sienta donde están todos los Mahatmas sentados con Dada. Como que él se queda así como del lado de afuera. Y siempre así como dispuesto a hacer alguna cosita, lustrarle los zapatos a Dada, hacer algo en otra mm -hmm. condición. Mm -hmm. And Dada tells him, so, you know, now before he was, he says, so Natukaka says, oh, come, 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 do darshan of Dada. So he calls him to do Dada's darshan. So he, he does, you know, the standard darshan of putting his head on Dada's toe, you know. And so y then, Natukaka cuando lo ve, le dice, vení, 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 vení a hacer el darshan con Dada. Y hace el darshan que conocemos, el de poner la frente en el dedo gordo del pie de Dada y todo mm -hmm. lo demás. So, so he did the darshan and then Dada, she says, he has here to go now, right? Okay, go. But yes, this is the beautiful sentence, sent words of Dada. Dada says, now, remember, when you polish the shoes of that, remember this. Today you have polished Dada's shoes and you have done Dada's seva. You see, now when you go back to Badran, back there, you know, every day, visualize, look, just see, visualize that you are polishing Dada's shoes. Remember my face. Remember my face. Remember this face and visualize that and you will be liberated. Yes. This is this is this is this is you know this is this is you go ahead your your work is done go your work is done just remember this much that you you're you polishing the other shoes and you remember my face that's it. 
Entonces Dada, comprendiendo que él tenía que volver, volver a hacer sus tareas, volver a hacer su trabajo, le dijo, ok, ok, te puedes ir, pero siempre, cuando estés haciendo lo que estés haciendo, recordá que hoy hiciste el ceba de Dada, hoy le lustraste los zapatos a Dada, y recuerda mi cara, en la medida en la que puedas hacer eso todos los días, tu trabajo está hecho. You know, he was uneducated, he cannot understand all of these words of the satsang that is going on with Dada, you see. And, and you can see the beauty of, you know, of the words of Dada's in simple terms, yes. Mm -hmm. He has come from, you know, let him go, his work will be done, you see. Como el señor, claro, como el señor no tenía educación suficiente, no podía entender las palabras de Dada en un satsang. Y Dada, comprendiendo eso, en muy simples palabras le dijo, entendé esto, recordá este momento, hace este nididiasen, es decir, recordá mi cara en este darshan y tu trabajo de liberación estará hecho. What are you going to, you know, Dada gave him something that is appropriate to him in terms of what he, his, his role in life is. His role in life is to take care of the farm, you know, clean it up, you know, grow stuff, you know, keep, you know, just protect the farm, etc. and bring the food and vegetables home. This is his morning till evening, even though in fact those people, those you know, farm hands, they, have a little uh, they have four they, they put four <clears throat> holes in the ground as you know and uh, especially when the crop is ready when the wheat uh, when you know the crop is ready they they tie a a tight cloth you know like uh, heavy the the bed in other words they make their bed on the farm And they sleep okay. there, so that and you know they keep the birds away and yes, okay. and they all, you see, so they keep Entonces, an eye on belleza, it. You see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. La belleza de esto es que Dada le dio a este granjero el conocimiento que él necesitaba en el nivel que él no necesitaba. Where is such a Porque man? él es mm -hmm. un claro, él es un granjero que cuida la granja, limpia, protege, es más. Ese tipo de granjeros, sobre todo cuando la cosecha está casi lista, para que no se la roben, para que no vengan animales ni otras personas, eh, tienden su cama de, de tienda sobre eh, los cultivos mismos para proteger. Entonces, en ese nivel de conocimiento es que Dada le da estas palabras para que él las comprenda, las tenga y tenga su trabajo de liberación hecho. No, so So, Dada always give whatever you can understand. Yeah, right. You know? he, just, he gives it. So he says, for you, you just have to remember the scene that just exactly. as you did the polishing of Dada's shoes today, you just remember that. You know, you you can't remember. You visualize it. Mm -hmm. You visualize it. And you, even as you're doing this, polishing the shoes, you know, you're visualizing the face of the one who has come after a million years, you see, this one, let's just remember just this. So yes. this is the Nidhi Dhyasana, you know, this is the Nidhi Dhyasana. This is Entonces the... Dada siempre nos da lo que podemos comprender. Y en este caso particular le dijo simplemente eso, así estés lustrando zapatos, en tu mente tienen que aparecerte esta cara, esta cara de este ser que después de un millón de años vino y está acá, hiciste Darshan, y eso es hacer Nidhidhyas, en mantener esa visualización, eso sí lo vas a poder memorizar, eso sí lo vas a poder hacer. And Entonces, the, hacelo. And the shoes represents, the shoe of Dada represents the sucharana of Dada, in other words, that is a place of surrender, you know, there is, that's a place of Absolute surrender, you know, you just, we, we touch our uh, head to his yes. feet because uh, this we want, we are not surrendering to an ordinary human being. We are not surrendering the average to any human being. We are surrendering to the Lord, the one who represents 
our absolute self, you see. He is our Entonces, absolute ese self. Zapato, ese zapato. Usar ese zapato es el lugar de la entrega, de inclinarse en, referencia, en reverencia de todo, entregarlo. Y no estamos haciendo reverencia a otro ser humano común cuando nosotros ponemos nuestra frente en, en el dedo de él. Es yeah. el lugar de, de la absoluta entrega a ese ser so these words, iluminado. Mm -hmm. So these words, Om Rim Dada Bhagwan. Sarvagnya Sharanam Gachami. I mean, this is all I, I I surrender, my Lord, you see. And this has begun. This beautiful surrender is is our state too. We our Mahatmas, you know. This we it is our surrendered state, our continuous surrender state is associated with our vision, which is uh, Soyamapura. Mm -hmm. And and this entire universal vision of scientific circumstantial evidences, you know. Hmm? Entonces, este mantra comienza en este lugar maravilloso de nuestra entrega total. Om Rim Sarvamnya Sharanam Charami Cha Om Rim no, Dada Bhagwan Sachami <laughs> Om Rim Sorry. Dada Bhagwan gotcha. yes. Om Rim Dada Bhagwan In other words, just these three words Om Rim This is like Om means the self, rim means this prakriti, you see. And now these two, and then there is the third one, which is the Dada Bhagwan, the absolute one, you know. Mm -hmm. Entonces, estas tres palabras, al menos. Can you tell me it again? Because okay, I you see, there is Om means, <laughs> Om means self, right? Om means self. Self. Om means self. The om. Rim means... Rim means prakruti om means, prakruti. Yeah, om means purush that is you rim means this prakruti and dada bhagwan means the total one the full one yes mm -hmm. entonces el ser el prakruti y el todo mm -hmm. eso es lo que estamos entregando cada vez que hacemos esto om rim dada bhagwan when you say om means eu so uh, soyama pura rim means this uh, fabi this Damian, you see, Cecilia, Rim, and, and then Sarvagna means, I see, you and I don't yet know everything. <laughs> but, but inside us is, and it's not a question of packing in the intellect, you know, oh, I know this, I know this, I know this. No, for whom everything is known, is known as it is. Claro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dada Bhagwan es el, es el único, el que todo, 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 todo lo sabe. No hay ningún juego del intelecto ahí. Entonces entregamos el, el ser con mayúscula, nuestro Prakuti Fabi Damián Yuda, y Dada Bhagwan es el que todo, todo, de verdad, absolutamente, y en todos los espacios, sabe y conoce. You know, many years ago, I had read this story about Natukaka's servant. Natukaka, Natukaka's servant, you see. Uh, but this time when I read it, something <laughs> struck me, you know. And this was, Dada says, visualize. This face. The, you visualize that you are <laughs> polishing the shoes of Dada. Dice this, que él no, no es la primera vez que lee esta historia del sirviente de Natukaka, que ya la leyó antes y la había leído hace mucho tiempo. Sin embargo, cuando la leyó recientemente, son estas palabras de Dada las que lo, lo, lo golpearon, lo despertaron, le llegaron. Y es esto que Dada le decía al sirviente. Visualiza, memoriza, memoriza este momento y visualiza lo que estás puliendo los zapatos de Dada. Yeah, uh, see, uh, uh, how does it apply to you and I, for instance? ¿Cómo se aplica eso a nosotros? It's this work that you and I are doing, all of us are, you know, this this work of translating Dada, sharing Dada, uh, sharing Dada with other people, okay? Uh, doing things, arranging stuff for Dada. All of these things, you... Even when you're not doing it, you visualize 
see how you visualize <laughs> and see the other. So now you are back to, you know, you know, you're you're visualizing this work of the other. For you and I, uh, the work is, you know, sharing the other through palavras words, you know. We're sharing the other, you know, Entonces, translating. Como yes. claro. como, some of us, como, some of us type it up, you say, you're doing typing, this and that, but visualize this work, you know. You know, visualize this work even when you're not doing the work, you know. See? And that is our... And then, Dada is there. Dada, this is for you. You know. Entonces, ¿cómo se aplica esto para cada uno de nosotros? Bueno, nuestro trabajo en este caso es compartir la palabra de Dada, traducirla, tipear, corregir, hacer. Bueno, todo aquello que hacemos, además, cuando no lo estamos haciendo visualizar esto que, eso que está siendo hecho. Aún en el momento en el que no lo hacemos, visualizarlo haciéndose. You know, there are, ¿Sí? No there estamos are... todo el día tipeando, sin embargo, en la medida en la que visualizamos mientras se tipeaba, sigue siendo hecho. During the, uh, yeah, no, for instance, like during the major occasions like Parayans and Purushan, you know, and Janma Jayanti, uh, you know, these major, major gatherings where 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 people uh, uh, are there, uh, you know, hundreds of women, uh, Mahatmas, they sit in from early morning and late in the night cleaning yes. grain, cleaning grain, you know, taking out any dirt from this grain, you see. Uh, you take, you know, collect, get, gather the right grain and throw away the dirt, clean it for the food for Mahatmas, you see, uh, you know, and it will be cooked fresh tomorrow, you know, in other words, in the night they are preparing this, you see, you know. Dice, por ejemplo, en aquellas ocasiones que todos los años se juntan miles y miles de personas como en Yamayanti, Pariushan, Parayan, que son 10.000, 15.000, 20.000 de mil Mahatmas todos juntos. Hay cientos, cientos de, de mujeres Mahatmas, y lo hemos visto, limpiando los granitos que van a ser cocinados, limpiando uno por uno el granito que sirve del que no sirve, sacándole la tierrita. Eso también, ¿para qué? Para que sea cocido fresco al día siguiente, durante la noche se limpian. No, en, en... And while they are doing this, they're hearing the satsang that is going on in the tent. You know, they cannot mm -hmm. attend, the, attend the satsang, but the satsang is there for them. You see, they can see it. So, but they can, they continue the work while they watch. So, in other words, their chit is in dada, and the mind is occupied in doing whatever work. And that is actually the Samaik that is happening for them. Like we talked about the Samaik of Punya Shravak. You see, their Nididhyasan, you know, their Nididhyasan is in Dada. Even as you do the work on the farm or the work in the home or whatever you and I are doing it, you know, yes. now, you see. Hmm? Y en este, en este ejemplo, mientras ellas limpian y limpian los granitos, están sucediendo los satsang. Y ellas... Lo escuchan desde la tienda, desde la gran carpa, eh, pero su mente está limpiando granitos. Su chita está andada, su mente está limpiando granitos. Y ese es el samay, ese es lo que tenemos que hacer. Nosotros hacemos nuestra cosa y nuestra, nuestro chita está andada todo el tiempo. Good. All right. So, you know, it's a good time to take a break. We should be back by, you know, just a little bit before 10 o'clock hmm? or oh, 11 o'clock. Okay. Oh, okay. 10 o'clock. Oh, no, 10 o'clock, right. Whatever, you know, 10 minutes. Yes, huh? for, for us it's 11. It's okay. <laughs> Vamos a hacer un 10 minutos de, de corte y volvemos justito antes de las 11 nuestras. And then we go back to our Niruma, okay? Or, you know, y, we have y volvemos discussed. a las palabras de Niruma. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 yeah, it's 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 Yeah, it's such a thing. Thank you, Marcela such a and Fabi, dear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Damien. Mm -hmm.
Wonderful. Shall we <clears throat> shall we continue? Hola a todos, volvemos. <laughs> yes. Okay. So um so we return to our Niruma and the uh, Volviendo a nuestra querida Niruma. And uh we come to the next heading uh, in continuation with our uh, opiog, you see, the applied awareness of the self, you see. Hmm? Volviendo a nuestro próximo título, regresando al opiog, el eh, aplicada, eh, conciencia aplicada, conciencia del ser yeah. aplicada. Yeah, yeah, being aware of who am I and and being aware of while one doing whatever he or she is doing. Hmm? Estando consciente de quién soy y de lo que sea que el archivo uno está haciendo. Uh, and we talked about we talked about uh, you know uh, us sir, you know in other words the yes. environment affects you the environment affects you you see you get so uh -huh. Uh -huh. Last time we talked about the environment. La know, última, it... claro, la última vez que nos encontramos estuvimos hablando de azar, de la forma en la que el ambiente nos afecta. The moment you slip into Luz, then the environment of Luz, if she gets affected by it, you see. Mm -hmm. Parinati la... changes and the Parinati goes down, you see. Mm -hmm. En la medida en la que nos vemos envueltos en luz, el ambiente de luz nos afecta. Ese parinati baja y nos afecta. Eso es lo que habíamos estado hablando la semana pasada. Oh, over, you know, so the effect of the environment over uh, self vision, you see? Es como afecta al ambiente a la propia visión del ser. Mm. You know, you're walking into a cloud, you know, like cloud means uh, fog, you know. The cloud, when it comes down, it feels like a fog, white, 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 everywhere, you see. When you walk into the cloud, you know, uh, Cecilia, Yuko cannot see uh, and, and uh, it temporarily gets covered up, but... You can see what's happening, you see. Hmm? En la medida en la que uno camina en la nube, cuando hay neblina, cuando baja la nube y se hace neblina, que es blanco, 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 bueno, uno va caminando y dice, por ejemplo, Cecilia y Yuko pueden no ver, pero uno ve. When three human beings have been, for example, if the three human beings have had a hot argument, you see, and you, as the Gnani, the awakened one, enters that room. <clears throat> In your awareness, even if nobody says anything, you can feel <laughs> the neg <laughs> negative vibrations, you see. <laughs> Dice, por ejemplo, tres seres humanos tuvieron una re fuerte discusión. Ellos discutieron a nivel relativo tres fuertes. Y en ese momento... Cuando vos entras siendo quien sos, sabiendo con la visión del nani lo que sabes, aunque nadie diga nada, podés percibir esa energía, esa vibración de enojo en el ambiente. Mm -hmm. Now, if one of them is your friend, you see, and she starts telling you, oh, this, that, and this, or whispering in your ears, this is what they did, and this is to me. So now then, that's when you slip. That's when you really slip, because now... Your underlying previous rag effects for this lady, mm. you know, will cover up and cloud you and envelop you into this entire uh, atmosphere Entonces, of, of fights, you see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Entraste, se, sentías que había habido atmósfera de pelea, sin embargo, una de esas tres personas es tu amiga. Y tu amiga empieza a llenarte las orejas con, porque este y aquel y esto y eco. Y es en ese momento en el que nos resbalamos y caemos. ¿Por qué? Porque volvemos a reforzar o subrayar aquellas creencias que teníamos de apego para con esa persona. Entonces nos metemos en su 
propia historia de ese enojo, de esa pelea. Mm -hmm. Or if you have had a very heavy breakfast, you see, like, you know, you eat too much and then you're trying to sit in satsang of Deepak Pai, you see. <laughs> <laughs> then some of the things that are going on, <laughs> you... <laughs> Will bypass you. <laughs> yes. Dice, por ejemplo, antes de entrar al satsang con Deepak Bhai, tú comiste un desayuno fuerte, entonces algunas de las cosas que sucedan en el satsang se te van a escapar porque estás pesado con todo lo que comiste en el desayuno. So it's azar, you see. Everything, Eso es azar. Everything in this world is effective. Everything has an effect. Everything has an effect. Todo, todo, todo en este mundo produce un efecto. Todo oh. tiene un efecto. Everything is effective. But to know that which is effective is the beauty of the one who has, who is beyond effects. Eo soy amapura. I know this is happening. I know that this is happening. You see? You know? La belleza absoluta está en esto, en el que yo sé que esto es efectivo. Yo sé y puedo observar que esto produce un efecto. So the intellect, estar metido yeah. en el efecto. So the intellect of file will say, I'll catch up later. You know, I'll catch up later. <laughs> <laughs> el intelecto del archivo y uno dice, ya, 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 ya lo voy a agarrar, ya voy a llegar. You know, I will learn later. Or the intellect can stop and say, soy amapura, and this is relative, you know, The more important is the Nididhyasana of the other, five Agnas, the other. Mm. <coughs> mm? O también puedes frenar y decir, lo más importante es que soy alma pura y hacer el Nididhyasana de Dada es lo único que importa, hacer este trabajo. Yeah, yeah most important. Lo más But, importante. Mm. Most more important to see the alma pura in everybody that are there sitting there, you know. ¿Qué hay más importante que ver el alma pura de todos aquellos que están sentados por ahí? The other things, the satsang in its energies will enter you naturally, you know. Mm -hmm. Todo lo demás y las energías del satsang van a entrar naturalmente en vos. And that was the most important thing that Dada Shri said last time is, why does this environment affect you? Why does it have an asar on you, why does the environment of file one, environment is not this climate change, okay? The, the most important climate change is happening inside file one. Claro, que sí. Entonces la pregunta es, ¿por qué? ¿Por qué? Claro, ¿por qué te afecta? ¿Por qué te afecta este environment, este, el ambiente, el contexto? Y no estamos hablando de el cambio climático en general, sino que lo más importante, el cambio está sucediendo adentro de cada uno de nosotros. Then the answer is lalach. There is some kind of greed. <laughs> claro. Y la respuesta, ¿se acuerdan a todos esos por qué? Era lalach. Que todavía lalach. existía algún tipo de codicia dentro nuestro. I had a seat reserved in the front, in front of Deepak Bhai, so he, you know, and some lady came and took it away, you know. Um, you see, now, the, so you have the greed for that seat, you see. Okay. You can't, uh, satsang is not going to work for you if, you know, you lose 30 minutes thinking about it, you know. For example... Estamos en el satsang con Deepak Bhai y teníamos reservado un asiento en primera fila y alguien se sentó ahí. Y en lugar de estar disfrutando del satsang, perdemos media hora con esa codicia por ese asiento en primera fila en frente de Deepak Bhai. ¿Se entiende? ¿Se entiende? This greed that is, exists within each one of us for something or the other. <laughs> esa codicia uh, que tenemos dentro nuestro. Para una cosa o para otra. The greed to be noticed is man, you see. <laughs> La codicia por ser, por, right. por aparecer, porque alguien eh, recaiga en vos o te observe. To be yeah, noticed. His pride, see. I want to show my people back home that I'm here 
in this satsang in front of Deepak Bhai, right? <laughs> I want to Yo be quiero, Claro, quiero que se den cuenta, quiero que me vean, quiero que cuando vuelva a casa hayan visto que yo estaba sentado en frente de Deepak Bhai en el satsang. Yeah. This is asar, opiog. It makes you lose opiog, which is it it, it you slip in, uh, in your opiog, in your application of who am I and what is all of this, you see? Claro, te perdes, te caes, te resbalas de ese opiog, de esa conciencia aplicada como el ser en la medida en la que... Eh, la codicia te lleva para eso que te está que crees que te está faltando. Ah, oh, yes, eh? uh, you know, in very simple terms, opiog means that by which you 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 are in. Who am I, and what is all of this in front of me? Hmm? Sorry, again, please. You know, opiog means that which by which you you are aware of who am I. Okay. And what is all of this in front of you? Entonces, estar ahí es estar en plena conciencia de quién soy yo y qué es todo aquello que está enfrente mío. Es opiog. Should opiog. Es opiog. And Should it is, opiog. It's pure opiog. It's, it's pure opiog. Hmm? So, so, the next heading now on page uh, 63, Gujarati, the next heading page 63 is. Uh, Then uh, one slips from opiog. Okay, so the next heading is one slips in opiog. In other words, one slips from where Dada has placed her. You are Amapura. This is what it is in front of us, view. And this is how you need to apply your. Gnan, knowledge that I have given you, you see? Hmm? Entonces, en la página 63 de Gujarati, el próximo título es aquel que se cae de Upayo, de ese lugar donde nos dejó dada con ese conocimiento que nos dejó. So, is a, and so the questioner is like Yuko or Cecilia. Is the questioner is asking dada, how should it be for us inside? <laughs> Es cómo debería ser eso dentro nuestro. Es como si le estuvieran preguntando Ceci o Yuko a Dada. ¿Cómo debería ser eso dentro nuestro? How should it be for us inside? Amare andar que bojo bojo, you see. All right. ¿Cómo so, debería ser para nosotros adentro? Uh, so Dada, she says, the environment should not have any effect on you. <laughs> el ambiente no debería tener ningún efecto sobre vos. Should not affect you. That is how it should be. <laughs> no debería afectarte. Así es como debiera ser. You que no te afecte. You know, you walk ¿Entiendes? into a room full of hot arguments or fights, or you you walk in a room of pleasure, full activity, pleasure activity. Everybody is partying and you know, plenty of food, dancing. Environment. That is the external environment, but it should not affect you. Entonces, ese ambiente externo no debería afectarte a vos, así sea que estés enroscado en mil discusiones, peleas, argumentos, o entres en una habitación llena de placeres, comida y música. Ese contexto, ese ambiente no debería afectar. Uh, so the other Shri says this use of the other Shri says uh, this is the other has used English words here let me share this to you the other Shri says it should be Vatavarana proof it should be environment proof you should be you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah. y dice que acá Dada utilizó palabras en inglés directamente que deberíamos ser a prueba de contexto, a prueba de el ambiente exterior, environment. You know, Como see, cuando se dice a prueba de balas, bueno, a prueba de ambiente. Bad news comes, you know, bad news is for file one, it's not for you. Entonces yeah. llegan noticias, malas noticias, las malas noticias son para el archivo uno, no son para vos. Become environment proof. 
is saying a vatavaran should not affect us says dada hmm? Vatavaran, transformate eh, en a eh. prueba de ambiente no hmm. debería afectarte lo yeah. que suceda so the questioner is asking we become we we lose upayog What is the reason for it, Dada? Hmm? What is the reason? Entonces el interrogador it? dice, perdemos el estado de Upayo. ¿Cuál es la razón para ello, Dada? No, that's what she said. So, Dada's answer is some kind of lalach. Y la pregunta, de, la respuesta de Dada es, ¿y algún tipo de lalach interno? ¿Algún tipo de, de resquicio de codicia interna. Some Algo kind of lalaj. Some kind of lalaj. Uh, Algún tipo de lalaj. Algún tipo de lalaj es la razón. Greed. Intense greed. Lobe is greed and lalaj is intense greed, you see. Mm -hmm. Codicia intensa es lalaj. Some, then another says, some desire. Algún deseo. And one more reason he gives. I'm just giving you exact answer. And one more reason he gives is, and pramad. Pramad means, uh, it's not laziness, but it is laziness of the, of the um, the one who says you so am apura okay <laughs> the one who says okay. i am pure soul he says enough enough charan vedi today enough dada you know I... <laughs> okay <laughs> okay y él nos está queriendo dar la respuesta exacta de lo que dijo dada y es algún tipo de deseo y algún tipo de pramad que es algo así como como vagancia pero no vagancia en sí sino el que dice okay por hoy suficiente charambidi, por hoy suficiente soy alma pura. Ok, por ahí, por hoy ya está. Eso, eso es pramad. Laziness of the babo. Babo, you see, the one, you, all of us are, all of us are sitting here as partial gnani bhavas, you know, like, you know, we, we are all in gnan, we are enlightened ones, awakened ones, but we are not reached our final uh, absolute untouchable state you see this absolute claro. state you see mm -hmm. todos mm -hmm. los que estamos acá somos nanis pero no estamos total y absolutamente desarrollados no hemos logrado no hemos alcanzado ese lugar desde el donde no podemos salir entonces todos estamos en ese camino pero no estamos en el 100% you see no <clears throat> Look, these five agnas are so easy, yet somebody's lazy about it. <laughs> you and I are lazy about it, you see. <laughs> in in the in the use of this, you know. Claro. Son tan fáciles las cinco agnas, es tan fácil estar ahí. Sin embargo, muchos de nosotros somos como vagos en eso. Es decir, no estamos el, todo el tiempo en cinco agnas, en su uso. You see, that is pramad. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it is not. Uh, yes, and then there's the, the other. Let me finish the other's answers. You know, <clears throat> if you. If you have eaten a meal, opium will be missed. You see, the, the food that goes inside the body, um, not just the fuel that is necessary to keep this body running, you see, just the right amount of fuel, you know. If too much has gone in, food is fuel, you see, uh, yeah. then your opioid will, it will affect your opioid, you see. It will affect your okay. opioid. 
Right. Está tratando de, de darnos la respuesta exacta de Dada. Por ejemplo, con el tema de la comida. La comida es nuestro combustible. Sin embargo, si le metemos al cuerpo más combustible del necesario, si comemos de más, eso va a afectar nuestro payo. Yeah, I know our dear Cecilia is typing all of these things. Thank you, my dear. This um. Te agradece Ceci por estar tipeando en español lo que le está escribiendo en inglés en el chat. All right, this is Ceci. If you have eaten, we have we have a very uh, in India just like you have your chocolate tort cake, you know. In India, we we have this uh, kheer, which is like milk, have heavy heavy milk uh, that has got sugar in it and rice and then spices in it. You see, and it's called mm -hmm. kheer. You see, and you then I, and you take a piece of puri, which is like a a little, you know fried bread, you know, and you dip it in and you put it in your mouth and you just kind of enjoy the luxury of it, right? <laughs> Está It's tratando like... de dar un ejemplo de comidas que nos sacan de lo país. Por ejemplo, nosotros tenemos una torta de chocolate. En India tienen esto que se llama como kier, que es una leche muy pesada, con azúcar, arroz y algunos poquitos de especias y se usa un pedacito de pan y se come y lo que él hizo fue como un... Cuando se lo pone en la boca es como... Mm, delicioso. Uh, Eso yeah. te saca de lupa yoga. Ah, uh, you see. So if you have, you know, if you have taken instead of taking one bowl, you have taken three of them. <laughs> y si comiste uno, vas a querer comer tres. Then even if you want to put the upyog, it will be no upyog. <laughs> Entonces yeah. sabemos que después va a ser difícil estar en upa yoga. Yeah, you see, if you, even if you want to put the opium, I want to listen to what's going on. You know, and on the one side, this <laughs> one side, the, the the brain goes to sleep. You see. Claro. Yeah. Y entonces, know? para poder digerir eso, lo que sucede es que nuestro cerebro se duerme. Entonces, por más que querramos estar escuchando en Upayog lo que sucede, nuestro cuerpo no va a poder porque tiene que hacer lo otro. Le pusimos comida tan dulce y pesada que que tiene que ocuparse de eso. Yeah, we have all gone on a picnic or on the beach, uh, you know, where, where you know, we light a fire, you know, we uh, all gather around. It's a little cold, so, you know, you put some stones. There are stones there, so you just put firewood, you know, and everybody sits there and warms their hand and feet, you see, and, and talk, right? We have, we've all done that. <clears throat> En algún momento de nuestra vida todos fuimos o a un picnic, a un fogón o en la playa donde uno pone las piedras, prende el fueguito y se sientan todos alrededor y o se calientan las manos o los piecitos y conversamos. Todos lo hicimos en algún momento, ¿no? Yeah, uh, you know, and, and the smart person who, you know, The important thing is, you know, you don't just buy, put all the wood, all the firewood that you have collected <clears throat> inside the fire. You know, you just put as much as it's necessary to keep the heat going for a long time. You see? Este really era good. el punto del aprendizaje, que el que maneja la, el fuego no pone todas las ramas juntas, ni toda la leña junta. Va alimentando el fuego con la cantidad necesaria para que sea suficiente y el fuego dure mucho tiempo. And, and so it is with our body too. Just give it enough, just proportionate amount of fuel, food, you know, mm. inside. So it, you, you can use all your daylight hours, you know, in... Uh, for whatever use you want to apply it to, whatever opioid you want it to, or to, you know, I want to concentrate on this work, I want to do this, but you don't have such a heavy lunch that you go to take a nap, but you wake up after three, four hours, you've just lost the day, have you not? Hmm? Entonces, lo mismo, lo mismo que poniendo las ramitas para que el fuego dure mucho, lo mismo hay que hacer con nuestro cuerpo ir poniéndole la cantidad de combustible necesaria para que las horas del día nos rindan. En todo aquello que queremos hacer, en todo el upayo que queremos estar, porque en la medida en la que tomamos, por ejemplo, un almuerzo muy pesado, después nos tenemos que ir a dormir una siesta de tres o cuatro horas y para cuando nos despertamos perdimos el día. Entonces es ir 
poniendo la cantidad de comida sana necesaria para que podamos ir haciendo todo lo que necesitamos ir haciendo. Yeah, the food is there in the table, in the kitchen, in the fridge. It's not going to go run away, you know. <laughs> la comida está ahí, está en la mesa, está en el refrigerador. No se va a ir la comida de ahí. No se puede ir caminando la comida de ahí. Yeah, so this is uh, very... So it is this one answer. No, Nada, she says, you know, beautiful question. Why is it that opioid is missed, you see? And so gives... First answer, lalaj. Second answer, extra lalaj, greed. Third answer, icha, desire. And then fourth answer, pramad, which is like pramad means laziness. But what laziness? What laziness? This laziness. You've written extra, you know, you have piled extra stuff in this body and they, now the body is useless. You know, the body becomes useless for three hours, you know. Oh, you know. Entonces, a esa pregunta de cómo es que, que nos vamos del Upayo, que nos deslizamos, eh, resumiendo, es primera respuesta, codicia, segunda respuesta, codicia interna, eh, eh, intensa, tercera deseo y cuarta pramad, esta vagancia del babo, no alimentar correctamente, dormirnos, usar el cuerpo incorrectamente. No, you know, no, it's not over yet. You know, you've taken this three Aún no se ha terminado. You've overeaten, right? It's not over. Even when you wake up, there is bechani, there is another hour goes in mm. <laughs> being foggy. <laughs> y, hay, y hay una más, es decir, comimos mucho, nos quedamos dormidos y cuando nos despertamos hay otra que es como una más, hora más de estar todavía adormilado, que no me puedo terminar de despertar, entonces el cuerpo no me sirve, la mente no me sirve. And there, so then what, what, what guys, human beings do, ah, after, I need to have a strong cup of tea or a strong claro. cup of coffee, you see, espresso. <laughs> you know? Para sacarse esa, ese, ese estado es que muchos dicen, uy, necesito una taza fuerte de té o una taza de café fuerte para poder despertarme. Opioid. You okay. see, so now the other she says, then the other she says, what happens when you eat the milk pudding, you know? What happens to you? Doesn't what have uh, what I've described happen to you all? What happens? So the answer, questioner says, yeah, opioid cannot remain exactly. Claro. Mm -hmm. Entonces dice que Dada le pregunta al interrogador, bueno, ¿qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa cuando comes el budín de leche? ¿Pasa todo esto que he descrito? ¿Te pasa todo eso? Y dice, sí, la verdad que no, se, no puedo mantener el upayo con todo eso. Now this upayog is heavily influenced by the, uh, you know, the previous night parting with alcohol, you know. I mean, that only complicates this whole upayog even more, you know. Mm -hmm. Claro, y si encima de todo la noche anterior la fiesta fue con alcohol, esto lo empeora muchísimo más. So this is opioid, you know, it's very important. And Dada says, you know, the question admits that the opioid will not remain the way it is supposed to be. Then, you know, and Deepak Bay says, okay, now, all right, now time for Samaik, okay, and, you know, don't move, right? <laughs> so <laughs> most of them are sleeping in the Samaik, you know. <laughs> <laughs> They catch up on the sleep in some IQ. Sí. <laughs> Entonces, es, es como cuando después de todo esto, eh, Deepak Bai dice, bueno, ok, y ahora Samaik, y la mayoría se quedan dormidos. El sueño los atrapa <laughs> en el momento del Samaik. Yeah, uh, this is how it is. Now, this is Upiog. And for the one... For whom... Food is eaten with awareness, you see, taken with awareness. Opioid increases. So the connection between food and opioid is very, very important, you see. Y para aquel que come en conciencia, opioid crece. Es muy importante la relación entre la comida y el estado opioid. May I share something? Yes, yes. When when we were this last time in 
system of the city. San Pablo, mm -hmm. we have the opportunity again to be there while the back by was having lunch mm -hmm. and to see how he eats and, mm -hmm. and how he chews. And after that, she dish by as Dimple by to explain why we all were there looking at him while he was eating. Mm -hmm. And the explanation was perfect and exact. And after that, a lot of time, Fabi tries to do that. I try to do that, to eat, like just watching me eating. And the difference is huge, mm -hmm. real huge. I, mm -hmm. I will translate for them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Eh, lo que le dije es que para los que tuvimos la oportunidad de estar en San Pablo este año, eh, estuvimos todos juntos viendo a Deepak Bay comer. Y que después de verlo un rato largo comer, tomar su almuerzo, Shirish Bay le preguntó a Dimple Bay por qué lo estábamos mirando comer. Y entonces en la explicación que él nos dio, tuvo como más sentido por qué mirábamos al nani comer. Y que después de esa explicación... Eh, yo traté, trato muchas veces, cada vez que me acuerdo, de comer en ese estado, tratando de, de, de alimentar simplemente al cuerpo para que me sirva para, y que la verdad que es muy diferente comer de una forma que comer de otra, comer en conciencia, simplemente comer, eso era. Ah. Ya. Yeah. Okay, so now I say this. So these five points, uh, 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 and the sixth one, forgiveness of overeating. Mm -hmm. uh, so now the, I've just in, in, you know given you the six major reasons uh, for loss of upayog, you know, and uh, um, this. What you're saying with uh, this observation of the gnani is, is um, is important because that is how Dadashri was eating his meal. You see, he was in complete upyog, and Deepak Bhai observed that. You see, uh, and has followed that. You see, mm. you know. Um, I mean, they have kind of carried it to a little bit of extra stuff like, oh, somebody has to wash his hands and this and that. No, they you know that they would wash his own <laughs> hands, you know. And, uh, you okay. know, uh, right. But, uh, you know, like, you know, just like everything else, some of it gets to extreme levels, you know. Uh, an important thing is that there doesn't talk while eating. You see, he is in also deep upyog in terms of enjoy, understanding and and letting and tasting everything in exactness as much as possible. What is the component in this? What is this? In the knowing part, to know that this particular spice is there or this particular thing is there, in the knowing, there is more pleasure than in the tasting. <laughs> you see? Mm -hmm. eh, entonces, resumiendo, en el chat puso esos seis puntos que nos sacan del Upayog. Resumidos, yes. los títulos. Mm -hmm. Y volviendo mm -hmm. al tema de observar a Deepak Bhai comer, dice que en algún momento, eh, como que en la actualidad, eh, hay algunos puntos que no son tan necesarios, como que alguien les limpie las manos o todas estas cosas que suceden hoy como más eh, rituales, pero que Deepak Bhai aprendió a comer así, viendo a Dada comer así, y que lo básico es no se habla mientras come, y es en, ese, en esa masticación perfecta que va descubriendo cada uno de los sabores y por qué está este picante y para qué, entonces como que el placer está más en el saber que en el saborear. ¿Se entendió? Mm -hmm. uh, it is just one of the activities of the Gnani Purusha. In fact, 
The upyog of the gnani is not in the eating as much as the uh, you know eat you know in other words while eating he is eating but while he is in satsang his upyog is different you see he's you know so the upyog changes <clears throat> in satsang he is focused on this amazing. Uh, energy of liberation of a human being, the one who is present, you see. And, and how can that human being be lifted up from uh, the prison of his own kashais, of his own anger, pride, deceit and greed? That is the upyog of the Gnani Purush, you see now, you know. So the bupio. Entonces, el nani es de una actividad, es decir, mientras él está comiendo, come. Y ese es un tipo de upayo. Cuando está en satsang, es otro tipo de upayo, donde él está enfocado en esta maravillosa fuerza omnipresente que está en todos y donde ha elevado, nos ha elevado para que salgamos de la prisión de nuestros propios callais, ira, orgullo, engaño y codicia, nos ha elevado y liberado de esa prisión de los callais. And this upyog of the Gnani Purush is similar to the upyog of Lord Krishna, you see, when he was dissolving all the problems of Arjun, you see. Yeah. Yeah. Entonces, yeah. este upayog de nuestro Nani Purush es similar a la de Lord Krishna, cuando estaba disolviendo todos los obstáculos de Arjun. It's, it's, it's with the perfect awareness of, perfect immovable awareness of who am I in all of this, and what is going on with this human being in front of me. You see, this la, uh, yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. perfecta conciencia de quién soy yo y qué es todo esto que le está pasando a este frente a mí. Being, you know, in other words, being, you know, you never slip from your state. And this is the state of the Gnani. Without slipping from your state, you see, you become aware of the beauty that unfolds. Just a minute, huh? just a minute. Um, Hello. Hello. Who is this? Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Thank you. It's very important. I appreciate. Yes. Uh, I... Yes, yes. I need to come in. Yeah, right. I okay. Yes, I do need to come in. I'm just going to get a jump start and then come on over. Come on over. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, who is it? Yes, please. Okay, thank you so much. Huh? No problem. Okay. Bye bye. bye. Uh -huh. Sorry, that was important. My car is not starting, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Pide disculpas porque le era importante que su auto no está arrancando y lo necesita. Yeah. So, ma, upyog. All right. So I, I have to remember to see her Amapura now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Entonces dice bueno. Okay, Upayoga. Ahora me tengo que acordar de ver a Mapura. Yeah, <laughs> He's yeah. coming back. Eh, eh, está volviendo. <laughs> yeah. See, you know, yeah. So what were we, you know, this the Upyog of the Gnani we were speaking about. And, yes. <laughs> and we are Upyog. We are learning from that Upyog. We too are mini Gnani, so we need to be like that, you see. In other words, never slipping from your place. Fixed place Entonces, of Amapura, and then uh, never slipping, and therefore you're in uh, something beautiful arises when you don't slip from who you are. No matter how disturbed a file may be in front of you, <laughs> no, 
around you, <laughs> something beautiful happens. Your energy makes a difference in that interaction. Yes. Entonces, en la medida en la que no nos salimos de quienes somos, que no nos resbalamos de ese estado del ser, es que suceden cosas maravillosas. En la medida en la que podemos mantener esa conciencia de quienes somos, y no importa lo enloquecido, enojado, lo que suceda en un file afuera, cuando nosotros nos podemos mantener ahí, es tan maravillosa esa energía que surge, que nosotros somos los que, en vez de ser invadidos por el medio ambiente, nosotros expandimos esa energía hacia la afuera. Yeah, you know, and this uh, this is naturally associated with a lot of other energies and qualities of the self that come in, which includes flawlessness in the relative. You know, you you know that is flawless. These people who are acting up around all flawless, flawless. There's no flaw. You see, todo really. esto, claro, todo esto está absolutamente relacionado con la visión impecable, con que el otro es impecable, el otro es sin falta, todo lo demás es sin falta, es impecable. Yeah. What can I say? We can keep on talking about these energies, but this is very beautiful <laughs> energies right now. Right now we have to... Uh, Yeah. So, ¿Qué más podemos decir de todas estas energías maravillosas que tenemos? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Yeah, right. I think this is a good time to uh, see if anybody, yes. everybody, you know, everybody has digested this. This is a very beautiful information, you see. Mm -hmm. Bueno, yes. queremos saber si, si lo pudieron digerir, si toda esta información muy hermosa que está compartiendo Yuda fue comprendida. Yeah, you see this... Uh, You know, uh, we we don't talk about other Mahatmas. We have to look in ourselves. Why is it this Gnan, which is so magnificent, this light that is so illuminating and is, is ours, is is making us uh, fall and suffer, you know, and what's going on? So then the answers are in, In this, somewhere in among all these five that are six that are yes. uh, outlined, Entonces, you know. Entonces, mm -hmm. en la medida que haya algún sufrimiento, alguna duda, alguna caída, la pregunta es por qué, por qué me está pasando esto y la respuesta está en alguno de esos que compartió, o Lalach, o Desire, o Pramad, alguno de esos. Yeah. This, um, yeah. Uh, So it, it it begins with moderation. It you have to come to the middle. You see, it is it is the path of Lord Buddha. Come down to middle. You know, I mean, nobody is saying you're not you're not supposed to eat. That is, you know, that is what Lord Buddha tried very badly very, and found out <laughs> he was not achieving anything, you see. He became like a skeleton, you know, a, you know, and, and then he ate a bowl of kheer, which is the same thing we are talking about, a rice pudding, you see. It was offered to him and... He ate it, and everybody, all his followers, were surprised. Whoa, look what he did! You see, and and that's when he realized it is nothing, nothing to be rejected, nothing to be taken up. Take what comes to you naturally, naturally. naturally. Hmm? <laughs> Entonces todo comienza en la moderación, todo comienza en el punto medio. Nadie dijo que no tenemos que comer. Y acá trae el ejemplo de Buda, que durante mucho tiempo no comió nada, 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 nada. ¿Y qué lograba? Nada. Había llegado al punto discreto hasta que en un momento alguien le dio un bowl de este mismo budín de arroz y azúcar y leche y comió. Y muchos seguidores dijeron, ¿pero qué está haciendo? ¿Qué está comiendo? 
y en realidad fue en ese momento en el que se dio cuenta que uno no tiene que negar nada, sino aceptar lo que viene a mí naturalmente. Pero, you know, you and I have seen people who, you know, as soon as they eat something, how many calories? Okay, I'm going to add the calories here. <laughs> <This one is here. laughs> Dice que hemos visto un montón de personas haciendo la cuenta de las calorías que consumen en el día y anotándolo en el cuadernito. It works only for a few weeks and then they're back to their original. Claro. Uh, Funciona unas semanas y después vuelven a su recruti original. Recruti. And you know their prakriti. The, you know there is no fight with the prakriti here. There is only the awareness. No hay the, lucha con el prakriti acá. Solo hay conciencia. There's only the awareness. Only the awareness. And there is always. May I ask a question mm -hmm. here? Mm -hmm. Dice solo la conciencia. Y a mí me surge una pregunta. When when there is a relationship between what what I eat and my health, what should I do? ¿Qué debería hacer cuando hay una relación entre lo que como y el estado de salud? Yeah, I mean, for you and all of us, Mahatmas, it is really column number seven. You see. And and also and and higher than column seven is the eater is eating. Uh, you know, it's the you know I'm not eating. This is the highest knowledge. You know, okay. the eating process is happening. I'm not the okay. eater. Okay, para comenzar para todos nosotros lo más importante es el calam número siete y más aún el el que come es el comensal y no soy yo. Mm -hmm. Ese conocimiento es muy importante. Mm -hmm. But when the eater is ill and mm -hmm. I need it to be healthy to continue with Shagat Kalyam, shouldn't I do anything? The, no. Yeah, the, okay, so ask the question in Spanish. Okay, le digo, okay, pero cuando el comensal se me enferma y lo necesito sano para seguir haciendo la obra de Shagat Kalyam, ¿qué yeah. tengo que hacer? Yeah. The, Even that is programmed. Mm. Even that is charitramo. Doing, not doing. No, eating or not eating is part of the discharge. You see, yours, you know, when it, uh, you cannot remain hungry forever. That is how this okay. body is programmed. So it When the time comes, she will eat. You see, uh, it is, you know, I, you know, you go. I have to eat. I have to eat. Is be aware that that's uh, Fabi is saying. I have to eat to in order to become stronger, so I can do my work for Jagat Kalyan or whatever. But it's all part of the program. Okay. It's all part of. Entonces, todo, está, todo es parte del programa, todo es parte de la descarga. Saber que Fabi tiene que comer más sano para poder seguir haciendo también es parte, que Fabi siga comiendo más sano para estar más fuerte, para hacer lo que tiene que hacer. Cuando el cuerpo está enfermo, cuando el cuerpo está enfermo, cuando el cuerpo está enfermo, When the body is sick, that is one vision. In fact, the body is getting prepared, is healing. Say, you know, the high temperature of the body, not having, not wanting to eat anything, is part of the natural healing process of the body. You see, it, it, the body says, right now, nothing has to go inside. Just let me sleep, you know, let me sleep, let me rest, and then... You say, yeah, sure, water is there, drink, you know, you know, whatever is really needed will be, uh, you know, go automatically go in, you see. But, okay. but uh, you know, eat, eat, you'll get stronger, faster, all the way. People will also say, and then the body may follow too, but this is all part of the program, all part of okay. this evidence coming in front of uh, this uh, Bobby, you see. Mm -hmm. Entonces, yendo a un ejemplo en el que el cuerpo se enferma, por ejemplo, y tiene fiebre, ese cuerpo en su proceso natural no va a tener ganas de comer. Entonces, ok, si quiere dormir, se dormirá para el proceso natural de recuperación. Le ponemos agua, le dejamos a mano, 
pero no, uno no puede obligar a comer a ese cuerpo que en ese momento no tiene que comer. Pero toda esa parte va a ser parte de lo que ya está programado, de las evidencias que se vayan desarrollando enfrente nuestro. Mm -hmm. You know, the commonest difficulties human beings encounter is not enough water, you say, for their system. <clears throat> yeah. You know, not enough water for their system, you see. Lo más normal de nuestros errores, lo que encuentran nuestros cuerpos, es que no le damos suficiente agua para que funcionen bien los sistemas de nuestro cuerpo. Yeah, you know, and, and even intelligent human beings make that mistake, you see. Oh, you know, they're so busy in their work from morning till evening, they forget to take enough water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hasta, hasta seres humanos inteligentes se olvidan de tomar la cantidad suficiente de agua durante el día. Y automáticamente se empiezan a sentir mejor, te empezás a sentir mejor cuando tu cuerpo está realmente bien hidratado. And this is a naturally available product. <laughs> yes, y es un programa <laughs> natural. Es un, es un producto natural disponible para yeah. todos. Yeah. You know, uh, the desire to put extra food inside can be easily curbed by drinking warm water. You know, you yes. just drink warm or, you know, like hot water, like coffee and just sipping it, it you know. So there are all of these little methods that, uh, that, that are beneficial, you see, warm water, you know. Mm. Y hasta el deseo de comer de más puede ser eh, trabajado bebiendo agua tibia, agua calentita, como cuando si tomáramos un café o un té, pero agüita, solo agüita calentita, eso tiene muchos beneficios para nuestro cuerpo. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, you know, the example that that I gave of too much dude pack, which is this milk pudding, you see, mm -hmm. uh, is classic, you see, it... It, uh, a, you know, milk itself is a meal. You see, a glass of milk is itself is a meal, and you know, you you, you now you kind of, kind of, artificially change it by mm. putting so much sugar and so much rice in it. You know, and you know, and then in order to make it taste. You put saffron in it and, and cardamom in it and, and all of those interesting uh, taste spices, you see. But, you know, so you have kind of produced something that is not natural in mm. that sense, you see. <laughs> yes. Entonces yeah. dice, este ejemplo que nos da Dada del, del, de la lechita con arroz del budín, um, es un, es un ejemplo típico. Es decir, un vaso de leche en sí mismo es una comida, sin embargo, se le agrega un montón de azúcar, se le agrega el arroz, se le pone un poquito de cardamomo, que un poquito de azafrán, todas estas especias y todos estos picantes. ¿Para qué? Para, para darle un sabor más tentador que no es naturalmente necesario. Entonces, todo eso te saca, ya estamos más allá de el factor de alimentación. You know, this is a very big science. In fact, it's going to come later, but you know, there's a book that is being produced called Ahar Vignan. Ahar. Ahar Vignan. Ahar, Ahar, Nihar. In other words, intake, output. Intake, output. Ahar, going in, intake, An output, the uh, science of intake, uh, uh, the science of intake okay. uh, is, yeah. is a very big science and it is at the relative level, but you know, it has all, you know, Dada didn't specifically talk about it, you know, but you know, all, wherever Dada has spoken about it, now that's being compiled, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bien. Mm -hmm. eh, dice que todo esto es muy interesante, hay toda una gran ciencia detrás de, es la ciencia de, del, del ingerir y del, de lo que entra y de lo que sale. 
eh, y que si bien es del relativo, Dada habló sobre ello, y todo lo que dijo sobre ello está compilado. Anhar sí. es la ciencia de la ingesta, por decirlo de algún modo. So there is this that is happening at the level of the body, and then there is also the ahar of the mind, the food of the mind. <laughs> claro. Todo so, lo que le entra al cuerpo y también a la mente. Yeah. You know. Yeah. This. Yeah, the food of the mind. Uh, is a big business. You see, the food of the mind. It's like all this. Uh, companies that make flashy uh, magazines, you know, with a lot of beautiful things, you know, so, you know, expensive to print magazine and they're lying all over. When you have to sit down, people you can browse it and it's got all of this beautiful uh, ladies, you know, wearing all this beautiful clothes, etc. Men who are Uh, you know, dressed up and, and sitting next to a car, you know, all of these things is is the food of the mind, you see. It it kind of, it stimulates the desire that exists inside. And, yeah. and for those with the greed, they will go for it, you see. Hay toda una, es toda una industria la del alimento para la mente. Por ejemplo, todas estas revistas que se imprimen en papeles carísimos y brillosos, con lugares divinos y mujeres preciosas vestidas con unas ropas maravillosas y caballeros también vestidos. Bueno, todo eso es la industria de la alimentación de la mente. Y nos provocan deseos que para aquellos que tienen la codicia se les despiertan y hacen que vayan a buscar eso que ahí se ofrece. Uh, yeah. Para aquellos que tienen la codicia interna relacionada. Yeah. This biggest industry is is based on the desire to look more beautiful or you know more appealing to the other sex. Lipsticks, claro. you know, all of these things, the makeups, this, that, you know, the whole ground floor of the supermarket of the, yeah. uh, of the malls is with women's stuff only, you know, this sort of thing. Todo, toda esta es una industria que en realidad lo que busca es hacernos sentir o producirnos para estar más deseables para el otro. Yeah. Eh, lápices de labio, ropa, maquillajes, dice pisos enteros de las grandes tiendas o del supermercado con productos de belleza para que seamos más lindas. <laughs> yeah. Or the desire to cook something and make it appealing, you know, so everybody says, oh boy, she's a fantastic cook, you see. Mm. Mm. <laughs> o cocinar de una forma tal que los demás digan, wow, es una cocinera fantástica. Not my case, Shuda, no es mi caso. <laughs> well, yeah, but you know, there's different prakrutis, right? <laughs> Diferentes prakrutis, of yeah. course. <laughs> what do you say? The, so the desire... These are the, this is what uh, makes one miss the opiog. ¿Sí? Todas esas cosas de donde uno pierde su opiog. We are not saying anything negative about it in terms of what is happening. You know, 20 years ago, there were not so many lipsticks and colors <laughs> as there are now. <laughs> you know. No estamos uh, diciendo nada en contra de lo que sucede. Por ejemplo, hace 20 años atrás no había tantos colores ni tantos degradés de lápices de labio a la venta. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a big chapter about it, you know, this desire to, to kind of look uh, attractive to present yourself. It is part of intense deha dehas, this, you know, the sense that I am this body, you see. And uh, if it remains for Mahatmas, it is a dying desire, you see. Mm? Claro. Mm. Es todo un deseo que viene con el prakruti, con el creerse que nosotros somos este cuerpo. Y eh, aunque permanezca en algunos Mahatmas, es, es un deseo que va muriendo. Es un deseo que se está muriendo. Yeah. 
Shudhar Nagan, that's a long chapter, but you know, we at least now Dada has given us the headings here, you know, and Upiog. Okay. Upiog. Aquí you know. es un capítulo inmenso, interminable, pero en este caso Dada nos dio el título, Upiog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we are running out of time. Yes, time, right. Yes, that's what. <laughs> yes, that is that is what it is. Thank you very much, my friends. Jai Sachidanan. Jai Sachidanan. Yaya. Gracias a todos. Yuko Sicilia. Jai Sachidanan. All of you. Jai Sachidanan. Thank you. Jai Sachidanan. Thank you. Rosy. Rosy. Yes, yes. Wonderful. Telvina. Elsa. Yeah. Jai Sachidanan. Jai Sachidanan. Jai Sachidanan. Muchas gracias. Jai Sachidanan. Yes. Jai Sachidanan. Jai Sachidanan. Rosana. Rosana. Etelvina. Etelvina. Jai Sachidanan. Yes, Etelvina. Jai Sachidanan.